This is a parody, and we're looking at sort of all the absurdity and nonsense of 80s metal. Perfect insanity, man. It's a love story in a rock and roll setting. We emulate them in every way. We dress like them. Definitely the big hair and all that stuff. It's pretty wild. We look ridiculous. I mean, I look like a chick. It's 1985. And when people watch it, they'll go, no, I didn't wear clothes like that, did I? I just hope that these tight, tight pants don't come back. Thank the good Lord, it's over. Maybe you can make me some pants like his. Or did your girlfriend already rip out the seats in the Dodge? Oh, no, no, I could make you a pair of those. I mean, first, you got to tell me what you shove in there to make people think you're a guy. It's a rice of passage story, isn't it? But it's out of a lot of rock and roll fun going on around it. This crazy new world that's all of a sudden our world. To be really seduced, you know, by all of the excessiveness, you know, and, and how far would somebody go and can you turn back? All right, well, we'll pick it up uh, just coming out of the intro. Stand up and We're tired of just being a cover band. We started this because we love playing Dragon Tunes. You're gone, man. Am I being kicked out of the group that I started? Let's go. Mark Wahlberg is playing Chris Cole, this lead singer in a band, a tribute band for Steel Dragon. You know what the sickest thing is about you, little man? You fantasize about being somebody else, singing somebody else's songs. Oh, maybe if I get really lucky, I'll get to grow up and listen to Air Supply and wear jack boots like you. What's wrong with Air Supply? And lo and behold, one day, he becomes part of the band. Hello. This is Kurt Cuddy. I play in a band called Steel Dragon. Ricky, you know your English accent is almost as lame as your guitar playing? Well, I can't do much about the accent. What do you suggest to do about my playing? Who is this? It's like taken from total obscurity and thrust into, you know, to rock and roll fame. What do you do with it? We're auditioning for a new lead singer. The good Lord has given you a hell of a voice. Do you want the gig then? It's a journey, you know, this kid takes a ride that he thinks he wants to take and, you know, see some of his dreams become a reality. She's Chris's girlfriend and she's basically with this guy. They love each other and, and knows that he's got to do what he's got to do to fulfill this dream. You're going to be great, babe. I love you so much. He becomes a little bit arrogant, falls into the trappings of being catered to on every level and every whim. But of course, he gets lost in that. And he is following his dream, but it's still not quite listening to your own voice. Stephen Herrick did a really great job with this and the fact that he got a lot of uh, real musicians. Jeff Pilson from Dokken, Jason Bonham, and uh, Zach Wilde. They were the three main guys from uh, Steel Dragon. It seriously feels like we are a band, and we have been a band for a long time. Mark is definitely a part of that, and, and in fact, kind of has this focal point element about him that, that really makes him feel like the lead singer of a band. And I had the hair and everything, so was, uh, that was a kind of a cool disguise. You know, the hair is almost a license to just do whatever you want. I was absolutely blown away when I saw it for the first time the lighting and the effects. It was phenomenal. You would watch it and see it happen, then the cameras would turn off, and it would continue on for a little bit, and then it would stop, and you kind of scratch your head and go, I don't know what's happening here, but I like it. I feel like I've had a taste of the wilder side of life, and I'm gonna go home with my dog and my man and just be normal. <laughs> Dream big, live the life. 